one other thing I think about is if you're studying for the July LSAT and you've got two months or three months remaining, you want to make sure that you're not burning out. So especially once the semester ends, let's say it ends in mid-May and you've got another two months till the July LSAT, don't study every single day. Take days off. In my study schedules, I actually integrated days off into the plan so that you don't burn out. And also, if you're studying full time, carve out time for rest. Maybe you wake up six or seven or eight a.m. Even you study from from like nine to twelve. Take a break for lunch for an hour. Come back, study one to four. That's a good six hours of studying. That's enough. You don't have to do any more than that. Any more than that could lead to burnout. Even five hours could be enough. I think that. If you're doing it properly and not getting distracted by Facebook or your phone or whatever, five hours of hard studying is really more than enough, especially if you're studying full time and you're not working, you're not in school anymore. On the other hand, if you're taking summer classes or you're working full time, that's okay too. Carve out an hour before work, an hour during lunch, and then maybe two hours after work, a couple days a week, and then you're doing 10, 15 hours a week because you're also doing some work on the weekends. That alone is enough. If you are working, I recommend getting to work an hour early, finding a conference room at your office or finding a coffee shop nearby and studying there. Don't try to do it at home while you're still groggy before work. Don't try to do it once you get home, when you're tired after work. Do it when you're still in your work clothes and you're still in like a work mindset. Because once you get home and you have dinner, there are too many other tempting distractions around that will derail you from actually getting the studying done.